Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Have you ever launched a marketing campaign and wondered, was it successful? Did the ad bring traffic? Did that traffic turn into sales? Or did it just burn through your budget? Today's video is all about key metrics in marketing analytics, the numbers behind smart decisions. We'll break down what these KPIs mean, how to calculate them, and how businesses use them to improve performance. Let's dive in. Section 1, Why Metrics Matter Marketing isn't just about creativity, it's about measurable impact. Without data, decisions rely on intuition or guesswork. But with the right metrics, businesses can identify what's working, what's not, and where to pivot. Whether you're optimizing an Instagram campaign or planning your next product launch, analytics help you allocate resources efficiently, fine-tune your messaging, and better understand your customers. Section 2, Website Metrics. Number 1. Traffic. Traffic refers to the total number of visitors to your website over a given time period. It's one of the most basic yet crucial metrics, helping you assess brand visibility and the effectiveness of your outreach campaigns. A surge in traffic after a new ad campaign indicates that people are noticing you, while a sudden drop might hint at technical issues or weaken messaging. Number 2. Bounce Rate. Bounce rate measures the percentage of visitors who land on your site and leave without engaging further, such as no clicks, no scrolls, no additional page views. A high bounce rate could suggest that your content isn't relevant to visitors, your page is taking too long to load, or your user experience is poor. Understanding this helps marketers adjust landing pages to improve engagement. Number 3. Average Session Duration. Average session duration tells you how much time users spend on your website per visit. Longer session durations typically indicate that users find your content valuable. For example, an average session length of 3 minutes versus 30 seconds can dramatically influence your ad spend decisions, SEO strategies, and content planning. Section 3. Conversion Metrics. Number 1. Conversion Rate. Conversion rate is the percentage of visitors who take a desired action, such as making a purchase or filling out a form. It's calculated by dividing the number of conversions by total visitors and multiplying by 100. High conversion rates mean your website or campaign is effectively guiding users toward your goal. Low rates indicate a disconnect that needs fixing. Number 2. Cost per acquisition. Cost per acquisition reflects how much you're spending to acquire a single paying customer. It's crucial for understanding the financial efficiency of your campaigns. If you're spending $100 to gain a $50 customer, your marketing isn't sustainable. Businesses must balance CPA against customer lifetime value to remain profitable. Number 3. Cart Abandonment Rate. Cart Abandonment Rate tracks the percentage of shoppers who add items to their cart but leave before completing the purchase. A high abandonment rate can signal friction in the checkout process, like too many steps, unexpected costs, or lack of payment options. Fixing these issues can significantly increase revenue without needing more traffic. Section 4. Email and CRM Metrics. Number 1. Open Rate. Open Rate shows the percentage of recipients who opened your email. It reflects how effective your subject lines and timing are. For instance, a low open rate might mean your emails are landing in spam, or your audience simply isn't intrigued by your titles. Testing different headlines or sending times can improve this rate. Number 2. Click-Through Rate. Click-Through Rate, or CTR, measures how many people clicked on a link within your email after opening it. It's a key indicator of content relevance and call-to-action strength. If your email is opened often but rarely clicked, you may need to adjust your layout, links, or messaging. Number 3. Unsubscribe Rate. Unsubscribe rate tells you the percentage of people who opted out of your mailing list after receiving an email. A rising unsubscribe rate could indicate that you're emailing too frequently or that your content isn't aligned with your audience's expectations. Managing this helps maintain a healthy, engaged list. Section 5. Paid Advertising Metrics. Number 1. Return on Ad Spend, ROAS. It measures how much revenue you earn for every dollar spent on advertising. If you spend $1,000 on Google Ads and earn $4,000 in return, your ROAS is 4 to 1 or 400%. It's one of the clearest indicators of advertising effectiveness and profitability. Number 2. Cost Per Click, CPC. It tells you how much you're paying for each click on your ad. A high CPC may mean you're in a competitive market or targeting the wrong audience. Lowering CPC while maintaining conversions improves overall campaign efficiency. Number 3. Impressions and Reach. Impressions and reach are often confused but mean different things. Impressions count the number of times your ad is shown, while reach refers to how many unique users have seen it. 
High impressions with low reach suggest repeat exposure, while high reach with low engagement may require a different creative approach. Section 6, Social Media Metrics. Number 1. Engagement Rate. Engagement rate is a measure of how people interact with your content, likes, comments, shares, relative to your total audience size. It gives insight into how well your content resonates. A high engagement rate means your message is hitting home, while a low rate may require creative adjustments. Number 2. Follower Growth Rate. It shows how quickly your social media following is expanding. It's calculated by dividing new followers by total followers and multiplying by 100. Steady growth indicates increasing brand awareness and interest, while stagnation could be a red flag for your content strategy. Section 7, Customer-Centric Metrics. Number 1. Customer Lifetime Value, CLV. It estimates the total revenue a business can expect from a single customer over their relationship. It helps in understanding how much you can spend to acquire and retain customers. For example, if your CLV is $2,000 and your CPA is $300, your business model is likely sustainable. Number 2. Net Promoter Score, NPS. It measures customer satisfaction and loyalty by asking, how likely are you to recommend us to a friend? Scores range from minus 100 to plus 100. A high NPS correlates with strong word-of-mouth marketing and low churn, making it a valuable long-term indicator of brand health. Section 8. Summary. To wrap up, marketing metrics translate actions into insights. Website metrics show how users behave online. Conversion metrics reveal the efficiency of your funnel. Email and CRM metrics help optimize communications. Paid ad metrics manage your spend. Social metrics assess your brand's online presence, and customer-centric KPIs ensure long-term profitability. When used together, these metrics help marketers refine strategies, justify budgets, and drive growth through data. That's all for today's topic. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.